Hello, good morning once again to the Tricky Brickies, where today we're back in London. South London, nearly London, I suppose. Bexley Heath, and we're here to do a garden wall repair. Okay, as we can see, the sun is just coming up. I'm here at the job, and this is what we've got to do. There we go, this has been hit here. This pier here has been hit and knocked over. We've got one cracked brick in here. The rest of them, it's all gone up through the joint. So we should be able to just shunt this over. I'm gonna cut this brick out and then repoint this and that will get this one back to normal. This side is taking the full brunt of it. So we've got to make this good again. And luckily, we still have the bricks. So I'm gonna clean all of these up find out exactly how many bricks I've got and how many I need. I know I need one for this side of the wall. Also, the muck. What muck are we using here? Yeah, they've used the same muck. Well, mm. yeah, it's all the same. I'm gonna get it all. Yeah, we'll make it all the same as this wall here. Lovely. All right, so let's get my boots on, get my tools out, get some bricks cleaned up. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how much I charged for this job. Not bad at all, cup of tea in the morning. So uh, I'm gonna quickly get this down my neck, but I've been cleaning up a load of the bricks now. I've been going through there, luckily they're in this tub here. We've got the big pier in one section. I'm going to take all of that apart. I've cleaned a few up already. But yeah, once we get all of these cleaned up, I can count up exactly how many I need. And then if I need any others, when I'm at Travis Perkins getting me sand, I can see if I can get a match. I've seen these bricks before, both sorts. I really need one for the other side. But I've seen these. I think these are what you call the exactly the same bricks as what I used at the shed base where I did the shed base job They're exactly the same as that and these ones are a little bit lighter but I think I only need one of them that one there so we'll see we'll see if we can get something that is as close as possible to that fingers crossed I'm not gonna lie I was thinking about picking this whole blump up and bending it on like that you know <laughs> it's too bloody heavy <laughs> No, I'll take it all apart and rebuild it. Stop being a chancer, Tricky. Do it properly. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be a bit of a chancer, though. I'm going to knock on next door neighbour's door. Because their wall is damaged as well. I'm going to knock on their door once I've done this. If I've got any muck left over. It's about 15 bricks. Not even that. 10 bricks. Might be worth an extra 30 quid, might not it? Back out, another Travis Perkins. This time, I'm about Bexley Heath one. Let's see if we can find some bricks. Right, blocks galore. A few bricks there. They're not the ones. They're not the ones. They're not the ones. They could have come in handy on the last job. LBC's no. But, here we go, stocks. We've got a few stocks here. Here we go, look. They are the ones. Boom. Right, there we go, that's all the stuff sorted. We got the match of the brick, which is absolutely banging. We've got the sand, we've got the cement, we've got some bubble bags as well. Happy days. Right, let's get back to the job and get this thing built. Right, this one. I got this brick. This was different from the other ones, but this isn't far off at all from that one. It's got the same fleck in it, it's just a bit aged. So that one's gonna go in there, where that crap one is. That's for there. Now these bricks, look, you look at these with this on them. I think Tricky's hit the jackpot here, isn't he? Hey, what a match. Tricky Bricky, mate. He found it. Look through there, look there. Bang, that's a bang match. That's an exact match. Tricky Bricky found the brick for the job. 
All right, there we go. All set up. A few bags of sand there, some dust, all my bricks. Let's knock up a gauge. So the gauge I'm doing is one bag of Travis Perkins sand and five big trowels of cement. A little bit, of, just a blip of feb and mix it together with my whisk. And there she is, lovely gauge of muck. Doesn't take long at all with the old whisk. I only do a bag at a time. I'm gonna knock too much up at a go, you know what I mean? I'll do one of them. I can do up to like four bags of it, but that should get me. I reckon it should be somewhere between three and four bags, four of those to get this done. If I've got anything left over, I'll knock on their door. But if I haven't got anything left over, I won't, because I'm not gonna go down the road and get sand and stuff, but if I've got a little bit over, I'll tap on the door there. I might even do it for Christmas. Goodwill gesture. The time, ladies and gentlemen, is five to 10. Let's see if we can get this all done. By 11. So what I'm doing here is I'm levelling my bricks one at a time, chasing them around the square, keep making sure they're upright, engaging off the existing work, lovely old job. Using up these bits where I can, you know what I mean? And them sections, no one's ever going to see that in there. And I've got two halves there with a good edge on it, so I might as well use it up. I think I've got enough bricks to do it falls, but I've got a load of halves here what I need to get rid of anyway. So if I can use them there, it's better. Right, there's the pier, the height of the pier, that's as high as it's going. Now we've got a brick on edge on here. Now originally, as you see from the photos, what the wall was like before, us bricklayers know that on a brick and a half pier, you can't do brick on edge and make it work full bricks because it's 330 mil from one side to the other. 75, brick and perp is 75. 150 225 300 so we're gonna end up with a 30 mil gap so as we would see from the old photo you've done it full ones there and then just put a fillet of muck in this side so that's what i'm gonna do in actual fact i'm gonna do four 
and I'm going to cut a sliver in there, run the sliver into this pier. I think that would probably look nicer than having a massive great slug of, slug of muck. I'll just do full brick, full brick, full brick, and then put a little sliver in there, but you can't odds it, but at least I've got something to push up to, so it's not like it's hanging on the end, it's sandwiched in between, so it's not really much you can do of it, you know what I mean? Most people on the top of brick and a half have like pier caps. Here we go, there's a sole just run back in again. I've dotted out the top now, how I'm gonna do the top look. That's how it's worked out. Looks all right, yeah? I'll fill them up, point that up, and I think that'll look better. You can see what I mean now, four bricks. It's not four or five. You can't fit five in, and if you spread it out for four, you're gonna end up with perps that are like bloody an inch, an inch wide. So I think running that into there like that and pointing that up is as neat as you can do, really. Lovely. Right, got my cordless drill. I'm gonna quickly drill this brick out, get this out, get all these perps all racked back out again and repointed, put this brick in, replace that crack one, repoint all this up. Nice. There goes Super Dry look. Go on, son. There we go, we've got the brick all cut out now. Just gonna take all this joint out of here, get in here with my saw and get all the muck out of that. And we can repoint that in nice. Good stuff. I've noticed the sand's a lot lighter on this side. It's not white cement, it's lime and mortar, but I'm not gonna repair it with the muck I've got. Sorry, my darling. So, what I'm going to do to get this a bit better colour is I'm going to add a load more sand to it. What they call the game show mix. 15 to 1. <laughs> Without a lighting that right up, that'll give that more that, that yellowy colour. The sand here in, in London is really yellow, so that should bring that up to a nice yellow colour. A couple more trowelfuls of sand in there. Lovely. There we go. That's a lot lighter than what that stuff is there. Look. By the time that's dried out, it's quite sandy. I didn't put any less amount, amount of cement in there because it won't stick at all. But it's definitely a little shade lighter anyway, so it's not going to stand out quite so much. So you're looking at that now. That's dried off a bit. I don't think that's a bad match at all, the, the colour. I know the brick's a bit bright at the moment, but it's the same textured face as the other ones. So I think after a little while, a bit of mould, a bit of water on it, it stands out like a cherry at the moment but that's what we've got all right let's fill this up with the old grout bag i didn't see it i never knew turn to the stars for clues i call the moon I've definitely got my money's worth out of these grout bags. I think there were free grout bags for £12. I'll leave a link for them in the description, but they really are a really handy tool just to fill up a hole. See if they want me to repair this while well, the muck's wet four feet away. Yeah, let's go and knock and find out. No one's answered. Hello there, how you doing? 
I'm just working next door doing the garden wall there. Yeah. I noticed you've got a couple of bricks hanging up. Do you want me to repair that for you? No, I'll leave it. I, no, I'm not going to charge you. I want to do it for nothing. Oh, you're joking. Man. Seriously, because I've got the muck there and I'm only going to throw it in a bag and throw it away. It's perfect amount for that. I don't mind doing it at all. Do you know, I'll tell you why I've said no, because they keep bloody knocking it down. Well, I'll put it back together for you, yeah, and oh. if they, it's no problem at all. I'd rather do it than see the muck go to waste, if I'm honest, darling. Thank you so much. No worries. Oh, that's a, that's a Christmas present. Happy days, darling. No worries. All right, cheers. There we go. Don't charge nothing. Made her day. Boom. There we go, there's that rebuilt. I'm just gonna, gonna let that go off for a little bit like I've done the other side as well, like, but this stuff over here is pretty much ready for pointing now. Let the air get to that for a little bit over there and I'll quickly run over it. But, Tricky Bricky, the kind soul, um, did the job, said I'd do it for nothing. She come out, she gave me cheeky 20 quid. See, it's worth it. Have an eye for a job. Oi, oi. Just going over the joints again, top and tailing, getting them all nice and neat as much as I can. Nice. Still a little bit wet, but we're nearly there. Well, there we go. You'd never know, would you? Hey? <laughs> Except for the, the orange brick. But that will die down. Oh, I wish it was a bit duller. I could have picked, <laughs> if I'd picked one of the darker ones from there and popped it in there, it might have stood in a little bit better, I don't know. Oh, but there we have it. Happy days. And the little bit over there as well. Tricky Bricky's all over it today. Right, let's throw a few buckets of water down here. Get this all cleaned up, brush down. Then we can get home, get ready for a live show tonight. Friday night, TBE, oh yeah. Right, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Another happy customer, job complete. So the price I charged for this one, I think I charged £360, pound, plus I made another 20 quid doing the job for next door. So £380 taken in, but what have I paid out for? Ulez, Dartford Tunnel, 20 quid in fuel so that's probably 40 quid for that lot 20 quid for sand and a couple of bricks probably looking at total then it's just gone one o'clock 320 quid 320 quid by one o'clock can't be bad anyway guys and girls I hope you enjoyed that episode and i'll see you in the next one but until then have a great weekend and i'll see you soon peace out and